Anger and frustration with Argentina's political class runs high in this poor neighborhood in Buenos Aires. Horacio Pérez, a retired sailor, says his $200 a month pension is not enough to live on. We cannot buy, we cannot eat. A kilo of potatoes, a sweet potato, a tomato is unaffordable. How do we live? We cannot live like this, and worse if you're retired. I know people who line up in banks to beg for a loan. It's sad. Inflation has been over 120% in the past year, and many residents here are quick to express their deep disappointment with what they say is the constant failure of Argentina's economy. People in places like this one are the hardest hit by inflation and by financial instability, and many voted for the far-right candidate Javier Milei, never minding that many of the radical proposals that he has for Argentina's economy could have a huge impact on Argentina's poorest. Milei calls himself a libertarian. He not only wants to dollarize the economy, but also shut down the central bank, which he blames for the skyrocketing inflation in the country. He also questions Argentina's free public health care and education systems. Once the undecided voters are removed, we can say that we are in the balance of thirds. The undecided voters, in general, tend to be quite angry. Therefore, we have the chance to get into runoff. If we go into runoff, remember this speech, because we are speaking in the front of the next president of Argentine nation. Argentine bonds fell around 12% on Monday. The US dollar in the parallel market seemed unstoppable, and the government devaluated its currency around 20% to cope with the market's pressure. Supporters of Millet say they voted for him because they're tired of what they call are useless politicians. I went and bought $100 yesterday so I could save. Nobody can save here, so I sold them again. I hope there is change. Come on, Millet. The next few months will be filled with political uncertainty. But people in Argentina fear it will translate into higher prices that nobody for now seems to be able to control. Teresa Bo, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.